Hey guys, it's Angie. So, long story short, I haven't done videos in a long time. Everybody wanted me to do a tutorial on makeup, because makeup's what I love to do, and I decided to give me one. So, here we go, let's get into the video. Okay, so I have my hair in a bun right now. It's kind of ratchet, it's cool. And so, the first thing that I do when I start doing my makeup, it, when I'm wearing wear for a long wear, is I put on some primer, face primer, and I use the Pore Professional uh, pore primer from Benefit and I take a little bit and I put it all over my face okay and then the next step that I do is I put on foundation and the kind of foundation I use is this Neutrogena healthy skin liquid makeup foundation um, in the shade medium beige 80 and I don't really use a high-end uh, foundation because I found that like just regular store like Walgreens or any kind of like store band works a lot better than the expensive good kind for some reason so that's just me so I use my beauty blender I cover my entire face with foundation. Also, I also like to blend it down onto my neck because then it won't like, it'll blend so it doesn't look weird. You know what I mean? Okay, so now that my face is all the exact same color, <clears throat> we're going to use some concealer and we are going to um, put it in your general area. So I'm just using some CoverGirl Olay Facelift Effect Firming Makeup. It's um, in uh, Fair Claire, and I'm going to take my Beauty Blender again. Take a little bit. Um, Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set it and bake it so that it stays in place and stuff. And so I'm using this Hard Candy Sheer Bake Brighten and Set Loosing Finishing Powder in the shade 1247. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. contouring brush, which I don't really use for contouring. and I'm going to take a little bit and just set it on my face. I mean, you can also use a, bending, a blending brush for this, but I don't. And then we let it bake for a little bit. And next, I'm going to use a Lancome Paris brush. I don't know what kind of brush this is. It's just a really fluffy brush and I'm going to take it to wipe off all of the bake. And the next what we're going to do is we're going to contour somewhat, kind of, but we're going to use this Too Faced Bronzer Milk Chocolate Soil Soil, I think it is, in the light medium matte shade. And for this I'm going to use this Eco Tools brush and I don't really know what kind it is but it goes like this and it's really fluffy and we're gonna use that for bronzer. Now I have to tell you that bronzing and contouring are two different things, so it's not the same thing. Just a very well known fact. For some reason on camera it looks really really heavy but it doesn't look that heavy in real life besides we're going to you know fix it all up and then we're done with bronzing 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 so and so the next step that I do is I like to move on to the eyes next and I like to say blush and like 
highlight for last because I don't like to do this and like touch my face and stuff like that. So next I'm going to move on to the eyebrows. Okay, so usually for eyebrows, I like to use the My Precisely Brow Pencil in the shade 6. And, um, well, I ran out of it. So I used this different kind, lower brand kind. And it, um, oh my gosh, I use it so much. It's a... Uh, Professional eyebrow pencil from I'm not sure what brand it's like coming off the pencil. It just says professional eyebrow pencil in the shade dark brown. And I use that to fill it in, but I still use the Benefit Brow brush to brush it out. And all I really do is I follow my natural shape of my brows and then conceal whatever I don't like, so. Okay, so now that we're done with eyebrows and they're all fleek, we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. And so for that, we're gonna start off with the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette. And I use this little Revlon fluffy blending brush. I don't really know what it is, I know, sorry about that but just any kind of little fluffy brush and I'm gonna start going in with Peach Sangria right here, this shade and put it on the fluffy brush and do it on your eyelid and after you do that you'll want to go in with Peach Punch and just peachy the two like really light orange shades and you'll want to blend them out over over like near your eyebrow kind of just blend it out so I'm taking just peachy more on the inner corners the lighter color on the inner corners and the darker on the outer corners okay yes I know it looks like much but really it's not that much now that you're finished with your pinks you'll want to go to just right right here and uh, it's kind of like a brownish kind of color and you'll put it in your crease and your outer corner. Now we're moving on to the sparkles which is the best, of course, I know. So I used, <laughs> I don't know, it came in this little package that my friend got me for my birthday. And all I'm using is just a really flat little packing brush. And I'm using only the Too Faced side of the Kat Von D Too Faced Better Together palette. And on this side, I'm going to be using Friendspiration. And I'm going to only put that on the lids and not use it as much on the outside, but blend it a little bit. Now, all I want to say is it's okay to get it like on your inner corners and on the bottom because that's kind of the point. You want to get it on the bottom because we're also going to put some eyeshadow on your under eyes as well. And after you're done with that, I'm using the same kind of brand. I think it's called Renewal because I found it on here. And it's just a little itty bitty tiny little brush. Very itty bitty. And I'm going back in the Too Faced Matte Palette. And I'm going to use the Beach Sangria again and just kind of blend it a little bit underneath forward. And blend it with the gold underneath. And so next what you're also going to do is you're going to take from the same brushes that I used. I'm using a little bullet brush and I'm going to use the Just Peachy Mattes again. And I'm going to go into Peach Meringue, this color. And you're going to put that in your inner corner for a highlight. And so yes, I know what you're thinking. You want to do the inner corner after you do eyeliner. Well, I do it before and after kind of because I just like the way it looks. So yes, we are next moving on to eyeliner. And what I like to use is my favorite brand, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. <laughs> you can't see it because I use it so much. But I use it in the Trooper Black color. 
and you're basically just gonna do a nice uh, a nice cat eye basically so just see what I do So basically what I want to tell you for this is when you do winged eyeliner, you want to follow the shape and curve of your eye. Because I see people who do it too sharp, like Ariana Grande, like back when she like always wore that big half up, half down do, she would do really high eyeliner and it did not look good at all. So you want to follow the shape of your eye because then it looks really nice and elegant and that's how you're supposed to do it. So. So there you go, you have your nice wing, and then you do it to the other side. Okay, now that you have your top eyeliner done, I also like to do my under eye eyeliner on my waterline because it brings out my eyes. And so basically with that is you can also choose white eyeliner if you want your eyes to be bigger, and you want to use black eyeliner if you want your eyes to look smaller. But I personally just choose black because it makes my eyes pop out because of my eye color. So personally, it's just whatever preference you want to choose. So you can do whatever you want. It's your life. So for my waterline, I do like to use the Revlon uh, Skinny, Revlon Color Stay Skinny. The top is gold because I like mix things around and stuff, but it's really a black top. I just use different eyeliner, so yeah. Anyways, so I use the Revlon Color Stay Skinny, and I like to use that for my waterline. I don't always use the same thing for different things because, I don't know, life. So I just take it, and I do it right on my waterline, and that's all you do. There it is, you see? It really makes a difference for me. Okay, so the last and final step for doing your eyes is, of course, like eyelashes and mascara. And so the tip for your eyelashes to make them stay is after you put on your eyelashes, you want to, like, make sure they stay together by putting mascara with them so that they have a really nice bond so they last a lot longer. So for my lashes, I am using the Lord. There's more than one pair in here. I have a ton of lashes. But the ones I am using are in here, and they are the Velour Silk Lashes. And I don't know what number... Oh, right here. They're called Fluff and Thick. And those are the kind of lashes I'm using. Only on my top, though. I don't like brown lashes. That's weird. So after you do that, you gotta take some mascara and you wanna set it together. So for this, I'm gonna be using L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original. Otherwise, I would be using my uh, Too Faced Better Than Six Mascara, but it's all out and I need to buy myself a new one. So this is good too. Whatever kind of mascara you have is good. So it doesn't really matter. Now the other eye I'm gonna do off camera because I don't want to waste your time. <laughs> okay, so I finished the other eye, and so now we're gonna move on to the rest of the face. So what I like to do now is I like to put on some blush, and so my favorite blush, my mom took from me, so I'm gonna choose a different kind of blush, so I'm gonna show you. Anyway, so what I like to use for blush is I like to go into my Christmas in New York by Too Faced Chocolate uh, Shop Cocoa Powder Infused palette it was a limited edition in 2016 and so it is no longer sold in stores but you can use any kind of blush or like if you find this color in a different Too Faced palette just pick your favorite blush it doesn't really matter and so in this palette you can tell which things are my favorite I'm gonna use the chocolate covered strawberry and I'm going to take another beauty blender and I'm just gonna tap on it 
dab 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 gotta look fab i'm just gonna dab it all over your cheeks the apples are your cheeks but i will also give you a pretty cool tip another one so after you do the apples it looks kind of weird so what i like to do is i like to take it and i like to blend it on my nose So after you do blush, we do the very last thing, and that is, of course, highlight. Mm, yes, I don't have a good highlight, but I love highlight. So I have this little e.l.f. highlight, and I think, I don't know which one it is. It's the one that's not as gold, is all I can say. And so for that, I'm going to be using a Sephora Pro Fan Eventail 65 brush. Put it in there. <clears throat> and then you will go on your cheeks like this. Now, you can always go a little bit further if you wanted to. So what I'm gonna do because I'm obsessed. And you can also just go right here, but you also kinda wanna go like up here a little bit. But you mainly want to do it right here. And so what you also want to do is you want to put it on the tip of your nose. You can do it on your entire nose. I'll do a little bit of that. Mainly on the tip of your nose. Do a little bit right here. Do a little bit up here. And put a little bit. I like to use my finger. And then to put on my Cupid's bow. Give it a little... Something. There you go. And then you're done with your face. Now we gotta move on to lips. So I like to use nudes a lot. Nudes are my favorite thing in the universe. So I have different kinds of nudes. You can do a more brown of a nude. You can do different kinds of nudes. So I have different kinds. I have like a Too Faced, Melted, Melted Long Wear Lipstick in the shade Chihuahua, Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade, in the shade Dusty Rose, and it's almost gone. But I also just have like an Ulta Matte Lip Cream Ulta Beauty one that my best friend got me for my you know, for Christmas. And so, I don't know, they're all my favorites. I don't know which one to choose. But honestly, they, <laughs> they just, they all look the same, basically. <laughs> So I decided I'm gonna mix these two. Yeah. I'm gonna put this one, which is a little bit darker, on the outer side, and I'm gonna put this on the inside, and it's gonna blend and it's gonna look pretty. So let's do that. So taking Chihuahua, if I can get it out. That's not just me, there's black on her lips. Okay. Okay, so um, in the midst of that, I finished my lips. I figured out that um, they're basically the same color, so I just did the rest in the Too Faced Chihuahua color. And yeah, so um, that happened because somebody decided to call me and uh, ruin my life. <laughs> Anyways, so the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to put on some setting spray because we want this look to last. So my mom also took my favorite setting spray because she starts, likes to take everything of mine. And so I'm using this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set Makeup Extender Setting Spray. And we're going to spray it as she's done with this. So... That made me feel like Manny on your way. Or Jeffree Star. <laughs> and then we let it dry. Okay, so basically that entire look is done. And we'll get to the outro.
okay guys so this is the finished look I hope you liked it and um, so this was something that really needed to happen because people have been asking for it and it felt like it was the right time to do it I had nothing better to do and I thought well I haven't done a video in a long time because I do have this vlog that is supposed to come out that was supposed to come out that was all the way done back in April of 2017 it's 2018 and um it will come out as soon as possible as soon as I get it because every time I try to edit it likes to glitch out and then I have to restart it again and it's a really long vlog it's about 40 minutes it's awesome so uh, just wait for that because it'll come out soon as soon as I get it and I just hope you guys like this video and if you did like the video and if you want to see more from me if you want to know when I come up with videos subscribe and also hit the bell icon because want to do that if you want to check out some old videos I'll put it up here is it this side this side this side this side I think it's this side yeah I'll put it up here and you can check out my old videos it's pretty cringeworthy but you know what I'm proud of it so you can go ahead and look at those too look at all my videos if you want you know like enjoy the cringeworthy look at how young I was, look at how horrible my editing was, you know, I got some good editing skills, but you know what, it doesn't really matter, and just enjoy my channel if you want, so if you guys want to see more, tell me you want to see more, if you want to see different kinds of tutorials, I also like to do FX makeup, so if you want to see some of those, tell me, if you want some different tutorials, some different videos for me to make, do a Q&A with me or some of my friends, anything, tell me what you want to do, and I'll do it for you. So go ahead and enjoy the rest of your life, because, I don't know, I feel like that's what they guys should say. Anyways, bye! I hate it when, like, they, like, stick together. Like, can you not? Where did it go? Am I blind? I'm so stupid. Yes, I am. I am very much blind. Judy. Lana. Lana, Lana, Bobana, Fifa, Fofana, me, my, Momana. Lana, that hit the pan. Bless your kind soul. I said, Bless your kind soul, you deaf woman. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Trevor's gay! Just kidding, no he's not. Yeah, she said Trevor's gay. No I didn't, you liar! You just did! No I didn't! <laughs> but tell him he needs to figure out his sexuality soon, because I'm getting bored. Hey, hey Trevor, Lander said that, uh, my sister said that you need to figure out <laughs> You didn't tell him the other thing! <laughs> tell him he's not gay! Chris! It's called selective hearing, Landry. No, it's not! <laughs> <laughs> he said the F word to you, Landry. This is a Christian household. <laughs> this is a Christian server. This is a Christian. Don't fight it, it's coming for you, running at you. Okay, what comes after? So tell me, do you wanna go? Or is calling another color light? When the runaways are running the night, that's what comes true. It's taking over you. Oh, this is the greatest show. Mm, Some got in my eyeball. Do you see this? <gasps> Demon. There really isn't a way for to prevent this. If you just are dumb and you get it in your eye.
I need to restart that. Like. Okay, but like, look at this eye compared to this eye. Like, what is your life? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.